In this video we will go over a first order reaction and how to calculate its rate constant. So this problem tells us that the reaction is first order. Automatically, automatically when you see first order you should be thinking about these types of equations here. Okay, for whatever version that you have, this is the version that I have. Um, so these types of equations for the decay of the reactants as products are formed. Also, this is the equation for the half-life and also the units of lowercase rate constant k, lowercase k rate constant, is 1 over time, whether it's 1 over seconds or 1 over minutes or 1 over hour. So 35.5% complete in 4.90 minutes uh, at 25 degrees C. So obviously a rate constant is quoted at a specific temperature. That's a theme that we want to sort of uh, pound and reiterate over and over again. Change the temperature, you're going to change the rate constant. Well, what is this rate constant? So I'm going to utilize the equations for uh, that, and that's going to be right here. All right, so natural log at some time t of a equals to the initial concentration of A, its natural log, that little not symbol, that O subscript means initial, minus rate constant times T. So let's take an inventory of what we have here and see what we can solve for. Ultimately, we want to get the rate constant. Right. So there's the equation that I got from my consultation sheet. And um, so um, you got to think of this carefully here. 35.5% uh, complete. So 100%, um, let's say you started out with 100%. So 100% starting out with, um, we'll call that 1. 35.5% uh, complete means at some time t, uh, which actually they tell us at time t, which is at time t, which is 4.90 minutes. The reaction is 30. 5.5% complete, so that would mean that a sub t at some time t, actually 4.90 minutes of t, uh, we have what's 1 minus 0.355, it's going to be 0.645. So this is the inventory of what we have, 35.5% complete, right? So that would mean 0.645 is left after 4.90 minutes. So let's plug everything in here. So natural log of, uh, initially it's 100% or 1. Uh, by the way, the natural log of 1 is 0. So that's going to be, it's just going to be a 0. Uh, natural log of 4.90 minutes is 0.645 minus K. Okay, that's what we want to solve for, and then t is 4.90 minutes. Like I said before, this is zero, so that uh, is gone. So um, what we have here is natural log of 0.645 uh, equals to minus 4.90 minutes k. All right, I'm going to take that minus 4.90 minutes and uh, divide it. It's perfectly uh, algebraically legal. Okay, divide it by minus, I'll just keep my minus sign here, minus 4.90 minutes. That's going to equal to my rate constant k, which is what I need to solve for in this problem. So let's do this on our calculator here. Really, Here we have the natural log of 0.645. Okay, that's a minus. A minus into a minus is actually plus, so I'll just go ahead and configure in that minus there to make it plus, and we're going to divide that by 4.90 minutes, and this should give us the answer of our rate constant. Okay, make sure you have the right units here, 0 0.0895. I'll do three sig figs because our problem is in, uh, they give us numbers to, to our, that are in three sig figs. So our K for our final answer, 0 0.0895 inverse minutes. Okay, very, very important that you keep the units because um, remember the units uh, of a rate constant vary. 0 0.0895 over minutes. Okay, so this and this are the same thing and on any test, you know, obviously they are both equally acceptable and both right.